with heavy grenade launchers back into the DPS meta in a big way, there was a perk I wanted to revisit. All the praise is currently going to the Cataphract GL3 with a combination of Envy's Assassin plus Bait and Switch, but I was curious about Cascade Point too. While this one doesn't increase damage per shot, it greatly increases fire rate at a scalar of 0.6x between shots, which for example takes 120 RPM GLs to 200 RPM and 150 RPM GLs to 250 RPM effectively a 40% DPS increase. So first thing is I wanted to test each perk against Greg. And these are the two roles I will be using. They're very similar with no spike grenades on either and both with an increased mag size to 7. Triple strand surge was used and weapons which complement their activation criteria. First up, the bait and switch and envious assassin role. This was used alongside Izanagi's burden and Cartesian. Dumping all ammo reserves lined up quite nicely with a 30 second DPS window allowed and came to a total damage value of 2,753,000. Next up, the Cascade Point roll. Due to the activation criteria of this perk, I swapped out the Izanagi's Burden for a Supremacy, since these number of crits are required with each weapon type to initiate Cascade Point. And of all strong DPS options, two Supremacy crits seem to be the easiest and fastest. I also used a Cartesian coordinate again to fill in the downtime in waiting for auto loading to proc. The Cascade Point rotation hit for a total of 2,478,000 and expended all ammo at 23 seconds out of a 30 second window. But honestly, the difference here is not as huge as I expected, and these rotations were quite basic. It could be optimised further with abilities and supers added, but I just wanted to keep it simple for comparison's sake. But for the Cataphract, I do believe a bait and switch roll is probably as good as it gets. Spike grenades would increase the damage slightly, but the mini frag option did allow for a larger overflow. So I can't say for sure which is better. However, if you're looking for a cascade point roll, it can actually get better. The Regnan is a craftable gel which also features a combination of auto loading and cascade point and as such gives the opportunity to run enhanced perks. Also auto loading itself can also be enhanced. This takes down the time required before it procs to low enough that firing 4 supremacy shots will be enough and as such with an enhanced craft of Regnan you can do this even simpler damage rotation. This one can be fully executed in only 20 seconds deals a total damage of 2,136,000. Whilst the lowest value so far, this one is also the highest DPS. The bait and switch rotation comes in at a DPS value of 82,000, while the enhanced auto loading and cascade point comes in at a DPS value of 106,000, making it very competitive. But just to big up cascade point a little bit more, I do want you to consider the following. The envious plus bait and switch cataphract is exceptional, but have you actually tried to obtain this thing? I'm on 6 trial resets this season alone and I wouldn't consider the rolls I have to be perfect. Realistically I'm looking at about 200 or more engrams focused overall and whatever random drops I've had, including adepts. My RNG here might be poor but if this isn't an easy grind for anybody. The regnant roll however is stupidly easy to obtain. There's also a quite silly but effective method to activate Cascade Point instantly. Looking again at these activation numbers, 50% on bows is quite easy, and they come with infinite ammo. But this bow fires 3 shots at once, so one crit shot will immediately activate Cascade Point. I've tried a few damage rotations actually using the Trinity Gold, and while the DPS isn't quite up there with Supremacy, again it is very easy. So overall, Cascade Point is a real contender for heavy GL damage. A 20 second or lower DPS phase will be the sweet spot for it, while if it's a 30 second or longer DPS window, it sways more towards favouring bait and switch, which to be honest, was to be expected. Thank you for watching.